Hello, everybody. Sterling here from the Canadian Shield. I was out for a walk and got to thinking about the Liberal Party imploding on itself and falling to pieces, as I predicted. Of course, what I didn't think about until a couple of days ago was Mark Carney actually wanting a bigger piece than just the uh, oil pipelines. I take that from a couple of things. When I heard Danielle Smith speak to the EPC in uh, her party in Alberta, she mentioned that the memorandum of understanding was going to allow for Alberta to get back into its electricity generation. And you know, that you think, yeah, great, good. The farmers can keep their, their stock alive and all the rest of that. Then she said, then we can start to capitalize on the AI revolution. Well, then I was listening to uh, Environment Minister De Bruzen, who's a, as much of a fanatic as Stephen Gilbo is. She's on with Vashi Cavellas talking about how, well, you know, it's all going to be okay. At least now we can get them to pay more this, that, and the other thing. And I'm like, really? So all of a sudden you're, you're, you're for the memorandum of understanding, which of course says a couple of things. First of all, it says that Brookfield wants to move into AI and any minute now we're going to get a proponent from General Electric offering to build something in Alberta so that they can have AI in the western, at least in the western part of Canada. And as everybody knows, that all goes directly back to Mark Carney and his uh, Brookfield stock. But the way that Julie de Bruzen all of a sudden switched tactics made me laugh. Because now we have we can see the camps that are developing. We're gonna have the Western liberals who are desperately trying to compete with the message of the NDP while overcoming the message of economic prosperity of the Conservative Party. You're gonna have Julie de Bruzen and the Toronto characters doing everything that Mark Carney supports because they secretly are not socialists. They are people who want to capitalize and get wealthy. And Mark Carney is offering them that route. And I believe the funniest part of it all, you know, the French category will go off on their own in Quebec and whatnot. They, so now we have at least three camps. And honestly, it couldn't happen to a nicer group of liberals, the socialists, because all you've really done is invite. Not only did you invite the wolf into your party, but you made him the leader of your party. <laughs> And, you know, I just think it couldn't happen to a nicer group of socialists. All right. I'll talk to you next time.